sport chair. Let's see. Easy. Wow, that a little bit too much one shot it's all. It do shot itself. <laughs> I don't have a Zerg. This boss would have died in two hits. It's that fast. Uh, dear fair to do, and I'm level 75. Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a quick update video on my Torrens Barbarian. I thought that I won't be playing it anymore because I already switched to a Sorceress. And uh, I thought that Sorceress is gonna be more fun, but I switched to Barbarian just to finish farming Renown. And I realized that Torrens Barbarian was more fun than Lighting Sorceress. So I've been having a lot of fun with the Barbarian and uh, I made a video about it. Sort of like, uh, not really a full build guide video, but uh, it, it has a bunch of details. I'm not gonna go over everything, but I will talk a bit about uh, what I changed and whatever things I think don't work for the Thorns. Right now, I can pretty much two short elites and bosses, um, similar level to mine, but I am currently level 76, but I am able to farm, uh, what is this, uh, tier 32 plus uh, dungeons, which is like level 80, 86, 87 uh, monsters. Now the tankiness, I'm still improving it, but I think the tankiness just, you have to always keep improving it, no, no matter what. Well past level 75, level 80, there's not much else to do, you just keep farming, you, you pretty much have most of your items uh, done. The only way to get more damage or tankiness is just to level up, get paragon points, and then by leveling up you also get more life, and that's pretty much it. So currently I am, while well, stationary, I am over 7000 attack power, close to 7000 armor, and a bit over 7000 life. I do feel pretty tanky, I have multiple ways of uh, recovering life, by getting regen from showers, by getting heal from uh, better when I cast the uh, iron skin, and then multiple ways of uh, like increasing fortify, and then in general just getting a lot of damage reduction. So it feels really tanky. But the build will, uh, in the end, will still have the same problem. Some enemies just don't really want to attack you. So the way I was dealing with that, I was just not fighting them. If I see like three enemies in the in the big room, I just skip them. Like why why even fight? I only pretty much stop for the elites and champions, and uh, yeah, just skip skip the rest. Unless there's a big enemy pack, which I pull uh, with the steel grasp. So my, my main skills that I end up with is steel grasp, which is like a, a chain hook but it only pulls free enemies without any modifications. Uh, th that one applies vulnerable and gives me berserking for uh, 2.5 and 2 seconds. However, I can reliably extend vulnerable pretty much infinitely with the rend skill and that's pretty much the only reason why I am using rend. And then the flay raises uh, torrents. In this case I would actually get uh, 1.2 thousand torrents, which is quite a lot. And then uh, Warcry, because it gives 15% more damage for only one passive point. Challenging Shout does give a lot of damage reduction. And also, uh, with the modifiers, it also gives you flat thorns based on 30% of your maximum life. So that is also damage and damage reduction at the same time. Also, taunting enemies does not necessarily make them attack you any faster. Some people keep misunderstanding what taunt does. Taunt only makes enemies focus too, that's it. It doesn't make enemies like uh, pull out the machine gun and start shooting at you or it doesn't make them like uh, throw away their stuff and go punching you. No, it, they just continue doing what we are doing. Except if there are more targets, we will not focus those targets and only gonna focus you for a couple seconds. So the taunt doesn't really make enemies attack you more. And then iron skin, iron skin is... Uh, both heal and a barrier. So when I have barrier, I have uh, some legendary modifiers that give me more damage while I have barrier. I put it on the weapon, so when I have barrier, I get 50% more damage. That's why it's important to have iron skin and also to have another way to get better damaging an elite enemy grinds you better absorbing pretty good amount of damage uh, for 10 seconds and it has 30 second cooldown. The build is obviously using razor plate. I got lucky and actually overall found three eraser plates 
the last one that I got and it is not an upgrade but it is over 800 item power which doesn't really change anything well it, it does but I also rolled the lowest almost the lowest roll of thorns so it was not even an upgrade it just was a bit higher armor now one of the modifiers that I think does not work is this one skills deal up to 20% increased damage based on your available primary resources skills deal Thorns is not a skill, however, Thorns scale with skill damage because strength is a main attribute for Barbarian and it increases skill damage. Even the Thorn description says that it is increased by the strength. So it's kind of confusing because Thorn is not uh, really a skill, right? But it still scales with skill damage. And I think this does not work. But I simply don't really have what else to put. Previously, I had this legendary modifier on a two-handed weapon, so I had 80% chance to deal AoE torrents, uh, which is actually a bit of a small area, but against single target, that does nothing, so I end up getting just straight up more damage on a two-handed and put this on a on a ring, but now I'm thinking it's a bit lacking chance to, to do AoE torrents, and I would rather put this on a amulet to get 50% uh, like more effect of it, like uh, around 50%, maybe even 60% at maximum roll but on amulet i currently have the armor stacking node uh, not node. i keep saying node because of path of exile the armor stacking aspect i couldn't shuffle around stuff enough because you could also put uh, more damage like uh, this one does work deal 10 percent increased damage for each second up to 30 percent uh, when you stand still uh, this does give more damage so you get 30 percent more damage uh, that's why my attack power is 7.4 but as soon as i move it's 5.7 you can see it builds up uh, with perfect roll it takes three seconds to reach maximum damage i think you could put this on an amulet and it would be what up to 45 percent more i'm not entirely sure if you can put this on amulet but then you cannot really put this on on a weapon so you, you would have to shuffle around uh, legendary modifiers also this one a weird thing is that this is also from the codex of power uh, this thing 2.3 thousand thorns while berserking actually i could i could apply it again uh, but on a two-handed it's double the that amount so currently it would be 4.6 thousand but um, if i find an item with that legendary modifier it's actually lower roll so it's kind of weird that the uh, codex of power actually has a higher roll than the legendary mods so i couldn't find a better um <laughs> this one because it says it could roll up to 6.4 thousand while berserking and the way i'm berserking is pretty much just use steel grasp i can also extend berserking i do have this node not sure if it's worth it or not but it does give me increased damage when i have berserking uh, when i'm bleeding i pretty much always have berserking because if enemies die while bleeding they have a chance to give me berserking because of the paragon point killing a bleeding enemy has 10 percent chance to grant berserking for five seconds so when i'm running around killing enemies they always start bleeding uh, this this thing tough as nails and i would like to get the uh, tough as nails on an amulet but i, I couldn't increases your thorns by a percentage and then and when enemies hit you they take an additional additional 10 percent of thorns as bleeding damage over five seconds and also if you take just one point into into this when enemies are bleeding we are also going to be slowed down if they are slowed down they are also considered to be crowd controlled so if you got some modifiers like uh, like this one 28.5 percent damage to crowd controlled enemies with just one point you enable a crowd control and it's not a strong slow so enemies won't really like become slower they're still gonna be able to get you quickly and start uh, well hitting themselves back i'm not gonna go over all all passives you can take a look at this and um, see what i took i'm not even taking the ultimate you can actually take the ultimate and focus on ultimate but i i simply don't want to lose rent because rent extends vulnerable vulnerable is a more multiplier while berserking i believe is only increased damage but it also gives speed which isn't really needed for me so for me it's more important to keep vulnerable from the paragon from the starting paragon i pretty much took all the tankiness notes and all the damage notes uh, and then i went for this like i said i'm also taking the damage while berserking revenge cliff pretty much getting the damage and damage reduction a bit more extra from those i'm also taking a bit more fire arrest and armor this is just for tankiness i could actually also travel here to get more bleeding uh, damage to bleeding enemies and to elites but i also picked up uh, this one but i'm not actually using this for every 75 fury you spend you gain 12% uh, of your maximum life as fortify so this would uh, i would only 
like trigger this when I use rend because none of the other skills that I have consume fury but I took this because fortify stuff there's a bit more fortified generation damage well fortified uh, this one just maximum life is not for the fury traveling through here I'm not actually sure if it's efficient or not but uh, in here I placed the berserking node increase damage while berserking and damage reduction so whenever I look at glyphs I want something that would reduce the damage I take and also give me damage so that's what it is uh, this is um, increased damage while berserking it's it's not a more multiplier sadly but I can actually get more strength and get a lot more damage out of this and also 10% damage reduction and then at the start I actually uh, changed it and just started leveling this recently damage to close enemies and you gain 10 damage reduction you could also go for the vulnerable thing like this one 10% vulnerable damage uh, and I believe combined when you take all the vulnerable damage nodes you could increase you could get like 15% more damage because vulnerable is enemies take 20% increased damage so that's like a more multiplier whenever you get like 10% increased vulnerable damage you essentially gain a 2% more damage instead of enemies take 20% uh, increased damage we start taking 22% increased damage whenever you get 10% vulnerable damage that's how I understand unless I'm wrong it cannot be that it straight up give, gives a 20% more I think uh, people often overestimate how much that vulnerable mod is worth because they pretty much say that vulnerable is the best thing ever and all the other things don't really matter that much. Uh, that's not, not really true. It's like in PoE. At some point, getting more and more multipliers is not as good as getting more increased multipliers, you know? Like if you got uh, 50 increased damage and then 200% more damage, at some point it's better to get another 100% increased damage than then get another like 10% more damage. So I'm not sure if it would be better to instead go for vulnerable damage here because this build is Thorn's build, it relies on getting hit. If you cannot tank those hits, then you cannot do damage. Oh, and one more thing that I learned is that expertise pretty much don't work with Thorns because it says when, you, when using a two-handed axe, increase damage to vulnerable enemies. You are using two-hand axe, but you're not using two-hand axe to do the damage with Thorns. So I think this straight up just does not work for Thorns. All your other like attacks would work with this, but only if you hit with two hand axe uh, with those skills. So for example, I am using an axe to hit with Flay and with Rend. So those two skills would benefit from this. And if enemies are vulnerable, they take 15% increase, actually 15% more damage. And by the way, crit chance and lucky hit uh, are, are completely irrelevant. We don't even work with Thorns. And I believe Thorns is not considered as a direct damage as well. I tried the modifier for Berserking, uh, something like while Berserking your direct damage deals an extra like bleed damage, that did not appear to change the, the bleed damage from Thorns. So I think it's not a direct damage. So one last time I'm just gonna go over my items just to show what legendary modifiers I have. There are actually more places I could could swap a couple of things like on oh, this one is not really needed uh, this one I pretty much never become injured because if I reach injured I'm already messed up something and I'm already dying sort of this one also like I mentioned I think does not work because it's it's not a skill it is still scaling with skill damage but it's not a skill this one like I said I would put on the on the amulet probably and this one is not really needed but it does reduce cooldown of challenging shout and also of iron skin but again single target that does nothing and this actually does stack pretty quickly uh, normally the maximum is 50% more armor but when you put it on an amulet it goes up to 75% and I very often even against single target ramp, ramp up to 50 to 60 even sometimes 70 stacks but you would need 100 stacks to max it out but against the big enemy packs you very easily uh, reach 100 stacks with this so yeah, I think that's pretty much it and I think I will be putting this build to rest. I don't really see much reason to continue playing this because there is no reason to play. I, I tried Uber Lilith and uh, you could slowly kill her if you could do all the one-shot mechanics but you literally cannot do one-shot mechanics because you have a limited amount of time during which you need to kill like certain arts or certain other things but you cannot kill them unless you get a hit and and uh, proc torrents but they don't hit back 
so essentially you have to rely on EV torrents. But if you have to move away, you just simply don't have enough time to, to deal with that. Maybe if you had a lot more damage, you could like one shot those things or two shot and, and maybe it would work. But I don't really see a reason to try it. So that's gonna be it for now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.